Ever wonder how takeoff performance is fine-tuned to the meter? The answer lies in a critical concept that blends Accelerate Go and Accelerate Stop in perfect harmony, balanced field length. It's not just theory. It determines your V1 and can save your life in a rejected takeoff. The balanced field length is the runway length at which the distance required to continue the takeoff after an engine failure at V1 equals the distance required to abort and stop safely. V1 is the takeoff decision speed. If an engine fails before V1, you stop. After V1, you go. The balanced field is where the accelerate go and accelerate stop distances are exactly the same giving you a safety-optimized decision point. In other words, in a balanced field, the TOTA equals the ASDA. So, once you reach V1, there is the same remaining runway to either fully complete the takeoff or fully reject the takeoff. The balance changes based on runway length, aircraft weight, thrust settings, flap configuration, slope, wind, temperature, and runway surface. In short, any change in these factors can shift the balanced point and your V1. If the runway is longer than the balanced field, you may have flexibility to adjust V1. But if the runway is short and unbalanced, it could mean compromised options in a critical moment. Imagine you need 1,600 meters to stop from V1 and 1,600 meters to go with an engine failure. That runway is balanced, but if you only have 1,500 meters, you're below balanced field length and you're operating with increased risk or reduced takeoff weight. Balanced field length is not just a declared distance like ASDA or TOTA. It's a result of performance calculations, often used to determine the minimum runway required for safe takeoff under given conditions. And if you want to master all the runway distances, TORA, TODA, ASDA, LDA, check out our full video on the channel. See you in the next one.